come on in, come on in, come on in. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? To the rock with me, nation. Everybody else this morning, man. Oh man, happy new year to y'all. Oh man, yeah, man. Good God Almighty, Jesus. Oh man, I'm glad to see y'all today. I am. I, I really, really am. Glad to see y'all today and everything like that. Oh man, yeah. I'm. Me and my wife. I'm trying to. I'm talking to my wife about doing something different with my hair. No, I'm not. It's still gonna be locked, but it's long enough now where I can do some different stuff with it, other than just having my uh default Eric Killmonger hairstyle. What? Yeah, it, I did. I told you that. Damn it, that's that's. I looked at it and I said if I was gonna get locks, that's how that would go. And I'm happy to say, you know, between my head shape and my stylist and my wife. We was able to make that thing do what it do. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. But uh, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. If you want to cuss me out on this one because of how you feel, that's fine. I'm prepared for that today. Actually, I've been prepared to be cussed out for the past few videos. Anyway, <laughs> before we begin, like, share, like, share, subscribe. If you know me, Gorman Sharon is Karen. And y'all already see the title. I just said Antonio Brown, dot, dot, dot. That's clickbait. I did. I did. I did. I did that for a reason. I love having me some folders in my. My bad. Uh, if you just is this your first time clicking on the video, seeing me pull out a coffee mug, this one I'm just finna hit you with the actual facts. I'm not finna give you no opinion, no nothing. And mind you, you might not like what I'm getting ready to tell you, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyway, cause you know what it is. It's actual factual. So here we go. You ready? Um, Antonio Brown. Yeah, he he left the gang yesterday. I've never seen something like that. <laughs> you know, it's a lot to be said for when you be on God's earth a long time. And I'm just going to say it to you. I've never seen anything like that before. The closest I've seen, and I actually did a video last night. I'm not going to drop it because of how some of us feel in regards to Antonio Brown. Um, But that scene, that thing with Antonio Brown yesterday, that reminded me of the last Boy Scout with Bruce Willis in it. Billy Blanks, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, y'all might need to go check out that movie. My man, um, Damon Wayans was in that movie too. Y'all might need to go check it out. But uh, yeah, that's what that kind of reminded me of. But anyway, let's go ahead and think about this thing. Because a lot is being said. I've listened to some of you, some of my fellow YouTube content creators. I've read several posts and comments from People that look like me have the same pigmentation I do, if not darker. And I'm going to say it's troubling because those sentiments echo the same sentiments of when he left the Steelers to go to the Raiders. There's a difference between enabling somebody and helping somebody. There's a lot being made out of the fact that Antonio Brown was eight receptions away from getting his bonus, right? So many receptions away, so many yards away. Um, I'm going to help y'all with something. Because y'all are going to say that and y'all not going to do you no. Know, people are going to say that. And that's always, that's the thing that killed me. Do your damn research. Don't just say something for clicks and everything like that. Nah, nah, nah. People who aren't going to research, if you're going to call yourself a journalist and you're going to report this information, you owe it to the people that's rocking with you to give them everything. Walter Cronkite, Dan Rather, Barbara Walters, the folks that I grew up watching news, they just gave you the news, let you form your own damn opinion. Now we want to put a personal spin on stuff. I'm not going to put a personal spin on What I will tell you is this. He left the game midway through the third quarter yesterday. How many, how long is each quarter? Mm-mm. 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. Because y'all, people's got upset. Now, he got benched because his coach asked him to go in, and he told his coach no on three separate occasions. That means 
Bruce Arians asked Antonio Brown, and I don't know why he wouldn't ask me to go in because we know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I heard it wide receiver, right? He asked Antonio Brown to go in three times. Antonio Brown refused three times. Bruce said, don't worry about it. Now, some of y'all be like, well, Theo, why wouldn't he go in? Why would that be? Well, hell, just because I need you to go in don't mean that ball coming to you. Just because I need you to come in for a play don't mean you the primary receiver. Just because I need you to come in for this play don't mean I call the passing play. Right. Now, how long is each quarter? 15 minutes? So he left midway through the third quarter. That means it was seven and a half minutes left to go in the quarter. It's another 15-minute quarter left to go. And it's another damn whole game to go. Y'all not going to say that, though, are you? Y'all going to say he was justified because they was freezing him out. How am I freezing you out? You just need eight more receptions. You got one more whole game to play. Now, let's think about this because people said that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were freezing Antonio Brown out. Okay, that's that's fair. You want to say that? You don't want to say Antonio Brown froze himself out for three games too? Yeah, Antonio Brown missed three games for lying about taking the COVID vaccine. Presenting an erroneous, a false COVID vaccination card. That's what he did. That cost him three games. You don't think he already got his bonus by now? <laughs> Some of you are going to sit up here and say, well, Aaron Rodgers, you see how you keep turning the attention away from Antonio Brown? How you keep amening everything that he's doing? Because watch this. Aaron Rodgers was dead ass wrong too. Two wrongs don't make a right. But watch this. Antonio Brown and Aaron Rodgers are not the same person. You know it and I know it. And I'm going to tell you, just like my grandfather told me, just because such and such a so-and-so do something down the street and get away with it, don't mean you're going to be able to do it and get away with it. That's what we tell our children. Why are we not telling a grown man this? Same rules apply. Same rules apply. And some of y'all are jumping in here, aligning yourself with Antonio Brown because you both black. That don't mean nothing. Antonio Brown cussed out a black head football coach. Antonio Brown snapped on a black receiver that looked up to him. Your race ain't got nothing to do with this. Social justice. You can stand up for Antonio Brown because he's black. I ain't seen Antonio Brown take not one stance for his fellow black man. You haven't either. What you have seen Antonio Brown do is, and heard him do, snap on Juju Smith-Schuster, snap on Ben Roethlisberger, snap on Kevin Colbert, snap on Mike Tomlin, snap on the Oakland Raiders, right? Yeah, snap because he snapped on them. Snap on the New England Patriots after he went to go play with them for Bill Belichick and everything like that. Then Tom Brady. Tom Brady, by the way, who was in New England and begged for the New England Patriots to get Antonio Bryan there. When the New England Patriots got Antonio Bryan there and everything like that, it ain't like he ain't do right by Antonio Brown, but did Antonio Brown do right by himself? It ain't like Tom Brady ain't been doing right by Antonio Brown in Tampa Bay, which begs the question. You really think t Tom Brady, the guy who championed for Antonio Brown to come to Tampa, the same guy who's probably responsible for Antonio Brown still being on the team at the line about having taken a, a COVID, va COVID vaccination test, you thinking that dude is not going to make sure that Antonio Brown gets his money? Even if he had to pay him out of his own pocket. You saw Chris Godwin yesterday begged that dude to keep his shoulder pads on. No, I'm going to say this to y'all. <laughs> the biggest problem with Antonio Brown is us. We want to enable Antonio Brown because he's a black man. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't need to enable him because he's a black man. We need to help him because he's a black man. And yes, there is a difference between helping someone and enabling someone. Antonio Brown needs help. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me and everything. I really, really do. Some of y'all gonna come on these, come on this post and say some stuff. But listen, just look at this dude's track record. 
Let's not look at the on the field. Let's look at the off the field. This dude has a legal issue going on with a dietitian. He had a legal issue going on with someone who was painting him, painting a picture of him. If I'm not mistaken, he has a legal issue with a damn masseuse. He has a legal issue with the mother of his child, children. And he cussed her out in front of everybody. Why the children were there? If you signing off on this type of behavior and you think this is absolutely fine, this says a lot, way more about you than it does about him and explains why he's in the situation he is. Also, if you a social activist and everything like that, hey man, he need help. He don't need you making excuses for him and stop acting like you and him. And yes, spoken reason, I'm speaking it specifically to you. Bruh, I didn't like how they treated you, bruh. Dead ass. But you not Antonio Brown and Antonio Brown, not you. You got done wrong. Don't lump yourself in with Antonio Brown, bro. You're not him. He ain't you. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.